Welcome back to part two, everybody, of Let's Play Mega Man 10 as Proto Man. We're gonna take on Chill Man now, just because I don't feel like doing the same order again. All right. Yeah, seeing uh, seeing the ground here reminds me of Gemini Man's level in Mega Man 3. Only this time it makes sense. Ice pyramids. You know that kind of makes me think. It's actually kind of badass. I mean, just when you thought Mega Man level designs were getting a little bland, you see that. I don't know. I just I just think it's cool for some reason. Yeah. So as you can see, the gimmick of this level is um, you have ice blocks that can be defeated in two hits. So either by you or an enemy. So tread carefully. Oh, abusing, in, uh, oh, abusing uh, invincibility frames. What a common trick. <laughs> yep, you just saw correctly. Blocking the snowman robot's head with your shield completely nullifies it. So whatever memories or data it had, it's all gone. <laughs> so I wonder if, like, if what would happen if Proto Man hits a human in the head with a shield? Would it make zombies? Kind of far-fetched, but I think that'd be pretty funny. Bonk! <laughs> All lame jokes aside, I really like this level a lot. As far as ice levels go, it's really not too bad. Especially compared to Ice Man Sage from Mega Man 1. Alright, here's a tip. Wait for that Crusher to jump onto the third uh, platform. Then, as you can see here, if you stand under it, the second platform, he can't get to you. So fire away. Here we are in the latter half of the level, and yeah, keep in mind what I said earlier about the ice blocks, because you mess up on a cracked block, you're dead. But it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, on this part here, you're supposed to uh, jump down and deal with that crusher, but screw that. I have the protojet. I'm going to use it. Dun -dun. Okay, Chill Man's pattern is uh, pretty simple, but not necessarily easy to deal with. He chases you, he shoots a low, and then a high shot. Depending on where you land, you'll either be frozen or land on spikes and die. I mean, they're not instant death spikes, but they get they do a decent amount of damage. As you can see there. Alright, whistle, then revenge. That's the rules. You're going down! Now yeah, cool party. Everybody chill. You know, I just noticed the the background of this boss chamber. Doesn't it kind of remind you of the chamber where uh, you get the iron boots in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? Just saying. Yep, you can even uh, nullify his projectiles if you use the shield. It's all about timing, kids. I think uh, Chill Man is most dangerous when you're first running away from him, because he can shoot you in the back. Alright. You got a ch new weapon, Chill Spike. I could have sworn it was going to be the Iron Boots. Oh well. <laughs> and we're back! Should I go for Strike Man or Nitro Man? Yep, I'm actually going to take the correct path you would normally take if you would go by the weaknesses. Nitro Man's weakness is, in fact, the Chill Spike. Oh, 
Oh, I love this music. I'm pretty sure it was in the trailer for, uh, for this game. Take that, Joe. Yeah, if you get close enough to a Sniper Joe uh, and shoot, you can basically shoot inside the shield. So you hit the Mets, uh, rather, the Mets shoot an energy pellet out at you, you reflect it back with your shield, and then the Mets block it and reflect it yet again. That'd be a really funny unlockable game in this or something. Proto Man Net Volleyball. <laughs> That's gotta be the stupidest idea ever. But if someone wants to make a dumber idea, please go ahead and try to top me. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to die there. Sorry. Not quite at the checkpoint yet. Can't afford to die just yet. See why I got the triple blaze first? And here we are at the checkpoint. As you can see, the trucks in this section are not only coming towards you, but they're slightly larger as well. So you gotta account for that. But, if you're prepared, you can uh, evade them pretty easily. Or, you know, just cause traffic accidents with a chill spike. <laughs> Fail! I guess that's karma. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't put the protocoil on top of the frozen truck and jump up there. Bummer. Oh yeah, and watch out for those instant death barbs there. Because they cause instant death. Take that game. I'm taking my life back. Literally. Haha. <laughs> Time to hitchhike. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, let's, uh, Super Mario Brothers, this part of the level. Oh, good. No warp pipes that take us backwards. Lost levels. Wow, two W takes in one part. Not bad at all. Watch me get owned here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought I was going to, though, at the time. Well, if Mario can uh, run over blocks, one, one uh, platform missing block... Well, you know what I mean. Slide over him. Alright, guys. We're, we're about at the end of the part. I'll see you in the next video. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's go take on Nitro Man. It's like the bastard child of uh, Wheel Gator and Turbo Man. Alright, Turbo Man is basically one of those uh, robot masters where you gotta keep an eye on him at all times. Because there's so much to watch out for. Where he's gonna jump, what he's throwing, and where the projectiles are going to land. Right there, you just saw the potential for Proto Man's shield. And there you saw Proto Man's potential to take twice as much damage! <laughs> this isn't over, you Transformer bastard! <laughs> Literally.
Yeah, biggest thing to watch out for is where the wheel cutters are going. And of course, you know, he, it's easier to tell where he's going to jump. And actually, I believe if you use a wheel cutter, the actual weapon, you can jump higher. I'm not entirely sure on this, but I do know that if you use a wheel cutter on the wall, you can go up the wall. So you don't need to necessarily waste uh, protocoil weapon energy. Alright guys, I will see you in part 3. Take care.